So you're suffering. You're in this body, in this world, walking through life, and you're suffering. It might seem as if the current times we're in is increasing the levels of suffering you experience. What are we to do with our suffering? How can we comprehend it? And more importantly, how can we make peace with our suffering? Because ultimately, that's actually all we can do. Suffering is built into this earthly experience. It's actually the name of the game. It's what helps us grow. You should acknowledge we're all suffering. I'm suffering. Everyone around you is suffering. There's no shame in this truth. There should be no shame in this truth. If the truth is what matters, then the truth is nobody experiences a completely unbothered state perpetually. And yet we hear about enlightenment. We might fool ourselves into thinking there is this unbothered state that we can always tap into and actualize. And it doesn't help that we have all of these figures, these teachers, these gurus, maybe these social media influencers who are revealing only a portion of themselves. We might take a look at how well everyone seems to be doing and miscalculate truth be told that's a lie we all suffer here the question is not how do we get out of suffering the question is how can we sit with our suffering without wanting to push it away after all when we push away our suffering it compounds, it twists and distorts itself. Our suffering wants to be seen. Our suffering wants to be heard. Any time we suffer, there is a beautiful message to be heard. But of course, it's not going to come naturally. We ourselves have to wrestle with our suffering and ask it, what exactly do you need from me? Where does this stem from? And the more we question our own suffering and embrace its reality, the more we find ourselves actually not reacting to our suffering. It's not the suffering which is the problem. Our suffering comes and goes, doesn't it? Pain comes and goes. Pleasure comes and goes. Elation comes and goes. We want to exist in a centered state, don't we? A lot of people actually think they want to exist in a positive state all the time, but this is just as much of a trap as perpetually existing in a state of turmoil. But to get to the center, we have to allow the pendulum to swing back and forth without judgment. It is what it is. It's going to be better, and it's going to be worse. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. These ebbs and flows are what we're called to be very comfortable with. And ironically, when we accept life is full of ebbs and flows, we find ourselves closer to the center point. When we push away our suffering, we have to replace this joining of hands with something else. And typically, that something else is very detrimental. For example, many people feel the sensation of suffering, they feel these uncomfortable emotions and it's hard to bear. And instead they want to have a drink, instead they want to distract themselves with some kind of entertainment, instead they want to hurt others perhaps, or try to control others. Most of 
the detrimental actions that we can perform and that others perform around us stems from this refusal to acknowledge the reality of suffering. As living souls, we are called to sit with our suffering, to acknowledge the reality of our suffering and listen to the wisdom it has to offer. It can offer so much wisdom. And that's a beautiful thing. We have to understand, understand, accept that we are, in most cases, if not all cases, the cause of our effects, the reason we anguish, has everything to do with our approach towards our own consciousness and towards this reality, which can be very difficult to really know when we're dividing the inner and outer when we're not appreciating all events that seem to trap us, that seem to bring us down, are actually voices from the inside masqueraded in outer forms. So we can finally confront the very suffering that, when accepted, and learn from can help us blossom, become more aligned. It's about getting back to the center, which is home. We want to get back home, don't we? This is not a comfortable experience, not completely, but it's not meant to be. It's meant to be absolutely trying. So let us look in the mirror and have a no-nonsense approach towards cleaning up all of the messes we've made within our own consciousness. Because that's where the mess begins, right? Thank you for joining me. Keep up the great work.